Hi guys, this is Jackie sending greetings from Ho Chi Minh Airport in uh, Vietnam. And I just completed uh, one weekend retreat with my fellow NLP graduates of our NLP certification program uh, last Saturday, Sunday. And it, this is our usual practice. Uh, we often gather for a retreat every year and early part of the year. So I was believed in sharpening the saw so that we could always uh, be able to improve ourselves and to be able to get to the very next level. Anyway, uh, the reason why I decided to uh, film this video here because uh, since it's uh, still some time before um, my next flight and uh, departing back to Singapore and uh, so I thought I just have to take a moment to share with you the all about the uh, second C that I was supposed to share with you in our last video and remember we talk, we're talking about the three C's that will enable you to increase your influence and to unlock your charisma within and yes it's been some time since I last found time to uh, create and post a video some apologies for that and so why not take this moment to share the second C with you right now so what is that second C that would be able to take your ability to influence to the very next level? In fact, this second C is one of my favorite C and it's all about building a connection with the person that you would like to be able to increase your influence with. You see, very often uh, we learn about trying to influence someone uh, simply by means of manipulation, by trying to uh, get this convince this person you know uh, to buy into our idea now so whether you're a parent who's trying to persuade your kids to study for the exams or you are boss you are a boss who's trying to influence your team to work much harder in achieving the team objectives or whether you're just a sales professional who would like to be able to persuade your clients to buy the products that you're selling now it's important for you to first be able to strike a connection with them now, because connection ultimately allows you to build this very very essential thing which will allow you to uh, truly master the art of influence and what is this It's the five letter word called trust see ever wonder how is it possible for you to influence someone without even first having the trust a trust is so important because it's trust that gives you that credibility now I remember uh, I have a friend who is actually a coach to uh, parents and one thing that she discovered was that every time a parent is struggling to motivate their kids they all got to do with this one issue now feeling to be able to build a connection with the kids because when you're not able to build a connection with your kids our trust is not present and when trust is not present now it, it would be near impossible for you to be able to influence them so the same goes to a, a sales situation if you like to be able to close as many deals as you want instead of just trying to find out ways to persuade your clients to buy into your ideas or to convince them now uh, this has its place as well but it's more important that you learn to build that trust first through striking that connection finding that something that you and that person have something in common now because people like people who are just like themselves so when you're able to find that a uh, commonality uh, that's how trust is being built you better put yourself in the same wavelength as them and that will allow you to be able to establish that rapport and eventually pace and lead them towards the your desired destination so this is really a simple message here but remember sometimes some of the most simplest things on earth are the most powerful things so remember to learn to build the power of connection and that's where you see your ability to influence take a giant leap here is Jackie once again sending greetings from Ho Chi Minh Airport, the international airport. Uh, I do look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon when I'm back in Singapore. Take care.